Hi everybody, welcome to another makeover. My name is Alona and in today's video I'm going to be working on this beautiful but very outdated dresser. The whole piece was made out of MDF and particle board and everybody, even my husband, had doubts that I can do anything with this dresser except repainting it. But as soon as I saw the dresser I knew exactly what I want to do with it. First I removed the hardware and this plastic molding, I didn't need it anymore. And in my stash I had those wooden blinds I was dying to use on one of my pieces of furniture, but I couldn't find the right one. And there was it, there was the time. I measured the center of the drawer and then I started creating the pattern. I wanted this pattern started on the top drawer and then to continue going down to the bottom drawer. I measured the planks and then I cut them with my miter saw. I'm not gonna bore you with footages of all six drawers, I didn't even film them all, but I just want to tell you that I have two big regrets uh, about this project. And the first one, I started using a nail gun. And nail gun left the holes, of course, and it would take me like tons of time to fill them up and then to sand them down and then to blend them in. So I used nail gun only on one drawer. And for the other five drawers, I used Gorilla Glue. I glued and I clamped the planks to the top of the drawers. To fill up the gaps between the planks for this drawer, I used wood filler. I wish I did it for the other five drawers, but I didn't. And that is my second big regret. For the other five drawers, I decided to make my own wood filler. I don't know why, don't ask me, I just did. I mixed the sawdust and the wood glue and that was a mess. It took me much longer to fill up the gaps and then it took much longer to dry out. And finally, when I started sanding it, the little pieces came out and there were still gaps and I had to fill them up with the wood filler. I think this type of wood filler works better with sanded wood with no top coat on it. In my case, it didn't work as I wanted it. To trim the edges, I use the Dremel tool. That's the easiest way for me. After trimming, I sanded down the old edges and I was finally ready to stain. Remember, I told you I wanted the pattern to go through all three drawers. That's why I'm staining all three of them together. I started with Minbox gel stain in the color Golden Pecan, which is one of my favorite colors, and I stained all planks. And then I picked some random planks and I added the second coat of the stain. I used different types of the stain. I used the same golden pecan, I used dark walnut, I used walnut. I wanted to enhance the contrast of different types of the wood. I wanted the pattern to look uneven to have this kind of rustic look. If you guys enjoyed this video so far, that would mean the world to me. If you give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel, that would mean a lot, really. When the stain dried out, I wasn't really happy with the color, it looked kind of brownish to me. So I mixed black abonnie stain with mineral spirit and I stained over the brown stain and I love how it turned out. It was the color I was looking for. I let the stain dry for 8 hours and then I added 3 layers clear satin wipe on poly. The body of the dresser was covered with thin layer of paper film and it was peeling here and there and there was a gap from this plastic mold I took off. So I used bonded to fix this and some other small imperfections. And in one hour when bondo was completely dried, I gave the dresser a good sand. For better adhesion and to prevent any bleed through, I primed the whole piece. For this piece, I used bare black cabinet and furniture paint. And true story is, I have a spray gun. I actually have two of them. But I keep applying the paint with the roller or with the brush. And yes, I am the person who hates spray painting. And honestly, for me, it is not a time saver at all, because I work in a basement, and if I want to spray paint, I have to cover the walls, and I have to cover the floor, then I have to set up the spray gun, then spray paint, and then the worst part, cleaning. I gotta clean the spray gun, so it takes time, and it's faster for me just use the roller or the brush. I applied three coats of the paint, and when it was completely dried, I found out that there is 
surprise on the top. The watermarks, I thought I sanded down, they appeared again and they appeared even bigger than they were before. So instead of sanding down everything again and painting again, and there was no guarantee that the watermarks wouldn't appear again, I decided to try the other idea I've been wanting to try for a long time. The idea was to create a faux wood grain out of paint. I ordered those tools from Amazon a while ago and I didn't have a chance to try them. And there we go. Two ideas in the one dresser. Isn't it a good luck? What I did, I applied a thick layer of the paint and then I slided the tool and it created the wood grain. That's it. And you know what? I absolutely love how it turned out. I let it dry for four hours and then I sanded the top because it's a top. I didn't want it to be bumpy. So I sanded it, but still I kept the 3D effect. And I added additional layer of the paint on top of it. The paint I used had a built-in top coat, but for additional protection, especially for my 3D effect, I decided to apply a top coat. I used my favorite soft touch poly and I mixed it with a little bit of black paint. And yes, I'm applying it again with the roller. No spray guns here. And the final step is a new hardware and we're almost ready to see the dresser. That's what I started with and here's the final result.